Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with a video, this time around guiding you through the Easter event that we got going on right now for the next 14 days. It's of course Easter in Troves, we got an event going on for that and also there is going to be the daily adventure one, if I hit the right button here, gather an ore, you know, on Tuesdays and then tomorrow it's like upgrading your gem and Saturdays is very, very important as I always say, and make sure you do one dungeon to get yourself that free double XP potion. It might not be something you want to use right now, but it could be something you want to use in the future. So it's always nice to just do one dungeon and that's it. So if you don't have time to do any more than that, then yeah, go ahead and do so. So I am going to take you through all of the eight steps there is for this quest. I do this every single time there's an event. I keep saying that because there might be new people that are coming in and saying, hey, oh wow, you actually do it every single time. And some people actually also use the video uh, for just a reminder to do it. It because maybe they don't need the quest steps they might be able to do them yourself it's not that hard but you know sometimes you know there can be a thing and people get stuck on some stuff and then they can actually use the videos because they use you know timestamps and people can just click to the timestamp and say oh okay that's how you did it okay cool let me just do that as well or maybe some people just want to watch it all or however you feel like you want to but yes i do it every single time there is an event going on in trove you know we got an event every single month there's an one that kind of you know fits in with some sort of you know theme where uh, this time is of course easter and we of course like i said we got all the 14 days uh, of a uh, small uh, adventure thingies that you can do adventure things as well so yeah i just wanted to mention all of that with our uh, you know our intro here so people are kind of aware that everything is as it is and there's some new stuff in this event but there's also all the old stuff so if you didn't get it previous maybe you should look into getting those now they will of course also bring that back next year but that's also then going to include all the new stuff that's going to be next year as well so you basically you're going to be more and more in the events uh, coming for the years because there might be somebody that's just started this year maybe they just started this uh, like this month and now they you know are starting completely fresh and haven't done anything at all so now they of course also got to get that so make sure you of course also get all the old stuff done if you haven't done so if you really want all to get all the stuff that is in the events so yeah make sure you do that as well but yeah we're going to take you through all every single quest step that there is uh, and of course also uh you know just guide you as best as possible so yeah that's enough intro stuff uh, i don't got more to say if i miss something i'm sorry but that's yeah all that's easter so yeah nothing more than just start uh, step number one is coming up right here all right, so for step number one, all we have to do is go to the hub and greet Cubesley. And you can probably see where he's actually at. <laughs> the big, uh, big uh, egg over here. You can see it right over here. Uh, so, yeah, of course, you got the statue right here in the middle. So over here on the left is where the event uh, area is always. This is where it's going to be. And this is also where you are going to find yourself Cubesley. So we've got Cubesley right here. Big bunny Cubesley. He's really grown. He's really been taking his vitamins. But yeah, all you have to do is get up to him. It doesn't say anything, you know, uh, what you like. You can interact with him. Because you can see here, if you interact, press this, you can craft stuff, right? And the same thing over here with the... Uh, with the station but all you have to do is go up to him and make sure you have that like above right here and that's gonna be close enough and then press your interact button whichever it is uh, so if i hit it there you can see that's gonna complete it uh, even though it didn't say anything when you went up to him you can, you can activate him again it does not like a one-time th thing you can get up here and get yourself some bun feed if you are gonna get some of these tokens from some of these quests if you want to get some of these but yeah that's all you have to do for step number one we can now head into step number two all right for step number two all we have to do is hunt some eggs we have to get three of them and you can go different places medieval highlands uh fey forest that's okay the fey biome uh kandoria forbidden spires and geo topside so i went geo topside as you can see here i went for the geo topside this is a new mod that i have actually pretty awesome where it actually takes away the background and kind of zooms out as well you can zoom in again if you just want to but it's basically zoomed all the way out and you can kind of cover it all it's just a mod i actually did tell the mod maker of this one that is actually absolutely amazing i think it's great that you can just like it's kind of not covering the whole thing 
you can kind of see your character behind it's just absolutely amazing some of the best mods i've ever seen but yeah you can go to candoria if you want to you can also go to uh medieval highlands here if you want to do so but basically you can go all over the place there's also a mod if you play on pc that you can see them better makes a little marker on it because you can basically see it they're very 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 small but they are in there as you can see it's right there and if i you can use your attack button if you want to you know that's that's going to do it as well but you can also use your mount see you can't find another one uh, that would be awesome you can see there's one here oh this one of the golden ones very nice that's going to give me a golden companion egg so those are really kind of rare They're kind of nice getting it for the video that was actually kind of nice and you can you can also see it better if you have the mod because if you have the mod it, you know behind here it could be something like that but the golden ones do show up like that i don't have the mod to sh you know basically what it does is makes like a big and I, I wouldn't call it a beam but a little uh what's it called a thing where it's like a you know waypoint thing but yeah that's it you know it's there it didn't take me longer than that you can see all the egg dungeons are back as well i feel like your top side for me at least is just it's just the best i feel like because it's very dense in the in the dungeons and stuff like that i just like your top side mostly doing for this but yeah that was step number two now we can head into step number three all right for step number three we have to defeat eggman so <laughs> eggman kind of like sonic the eggman <laughs> not not sonic that's the eggman but eggman who is in sonic and basically what you have to do is have to go to candoria and i went again i went to the candoria here because this has the most candoria of the all the zones you can see it have all of this if you kind of kind of big large area you can actually see somebody right here mr faffy is actually in a real little bit of an easter egg i guess <laughs> no uh but all you have to do is you just go up and you just defeat these guys you can see i got one out of there and basically all the npcs around that looks like an egg is also going to count towards it so you don't have to go through the dungeons you don't have to go anywhere besides just going all the way around and i think all the npcs is actually eggs but if it looks like an egg you have to defeat it as an egg so you just go up and defeat it as well and you uh prime world uh two is not that hard but you can find find kandoria also on the lower ones but they're not as common as it is when you get to uh uber two so you kind of get to uber two and you defeat those uh 25 you can see i'm already at six um also getting a little bit of uh oh little bit of lag everybody's joining here because this is again where there is most and people just want to get it done uh so it's going to be a little laggy uh because of everybody joining the same world because they all want the egg guys to be defeated so i'm gonna go and get myself oh there's also a big guy so i am going to uh go and uh, get myself the last 15 i need it and i'll see you guys in um step number four so yeah this was step number three see you in step number four all right guys step number four we have to defeat king Aegon. that's kind of a reference i guess to game of thrones there's also one called Aegon. i don't know but he wasn't at least a king but it might be the same thing i don't know but what you do to get this one is that you just run around in candoria and you find these uh eggs you do have to be in candoria you cannot use some of the other biomes where it is you have to be in candoria for this one to work but he might be spawning other places but you have to be in candoria to get this one but you run around in the candoria and you just do just randomly do whatever uh, egg dungeons you see and at some point you are going to find them i'm pretty sure i found them here uh, it does uh, say that it's not always uh but this guy is what he looks like at least so uh we'll see if it is not him oh it was him okay great because it's not always he's gonna be there and he's not gonna be showing up as you say saw there with the complete thing uh it's not gonna complete and do, uh, do the whole thing so um yeah just run around and see what dungeons just do your dungeons as you usually would it probably says right there actually now that i think about it, it might actually say king Aegon as the npc of the dungeon but the point is just run around do egg dungeons you know that's the one star dungeon just run around doing those and at some point you are going to find him he might be in a lot of them so it's not like a super rare guy but you do have to be in kandoria you do have to just run around do your you know dungeons as you would elsewhere but if you see you know instead of avoiding the egg dungeons you might just look for them a little bit more but yeah that's step number four just do egg dungeons until you find them and you are going to complete your step very quickly very easily uh no fist no fuss and yeah uh that's step number four let's hit this step number five 
All right, so for step number five, what we have to do is defeat five Bunfest Delve bosses. And how are you going to do so? You are going to go back to the hub and use one of the stations. There's one here and there's one here. It's the same thing, but let's use this one. And we're just gonna go in and make this one here. There's also one for this, uh, no, and also for this one. Uh, you have to obtain the recipe to get these two as well. Uh, you will get probably get that through just playing the event over time just defeating bosses in the, uh, different places uh, you know Kandoria or some of the other places you will find these NPCs you can see King Egon he's right here you will get his recipe and then you can make yourself this one as well it's going to be the same as it is right here probably uh, I would assume it's basically the same thing I don't think it's going to be anything else but doesn't really matter all for the step number five all we have to do is get ourselves some more Bunfest chocolate we have to get ourselves some more tokens and we got to get some inner Jude so first about the Bunfest chocolate the Bunfest chocolates, of course, is from the Bunfest uh, egg dungeons, the ones we just did before. You can see I only have 20 because I didn't get to do that much. So I'm going to have to head out there and get myself some more of these egg dungeons. It's pretty easy. It doesn't 30 is not that hard to come by. Uh, any of uh, Bunfest tokens, if you don't have any Bunfest tokens, uh, make sure you go to your claims and get to claim your, uh, you know, your claims in here, claiming all your stuff. Uh, also just hitting or claim all and you see now I have four of them you know it's this uh, shows up red but let me just fix that <laughs> so now it's, it's green and of course the inner geode is something you get in Delve so if you have no inner geode you can just go to the popular Delve or some other ones and get yourself five of these inner geode and if you don't want to actually want to go to Delve that's also cool if you don't want to do so you can actually go to the marketplace and search for some gateways and you can actually loot, uh, loot collect those gateways most of them give you in a geode and i think most of them give you over five or something like that but you might have to buy some more this is i wouldn't say this is a valid it's so much easier just to go to a delve even like the public ones and getting five in a geode is like takes no time at all uh, I think it would be more actually time consuming to farm the flux and actually buy them uh, in that way. So uh, just go to the delve, get yourself five. I just wanted to mention the gateway because that's actually something you can look like them and actually get some energy out of that if you want to do so. But yeah, we got the energy here. Uh, we got the Bunfest uh, there and I just have to get myself some more chocolate, which I'm going to go and get uh, right now so we can do the bosses. So let me get the chocolate. I'll craft this one and then I'll see you guys in the delve. All right, guys, I am now in the delves. As you can see, Bon Tobia, I am in. I set it at 113 because then when I hit the boss, I should be 115. And that's the level where you get Crystal 4 gear, but you can put it at any level you want to. I just wanted to get a chance of the Crystal 4 now that I'm actually doing it as well. But I have to defeat 57 creatures uh, before I can defeat the boss. But I will show you guys some boss kills instead of just boring, just all that. But Let's kill some bosses. All right, boss number one. Boss number two. Boss number three. Boss number four. And boss number five. All right, so that was step number five. We can now do step number six. And for step number six, there is a lot of text, but all you have to know is that you have to find yourself one of these egg hunts. You gotta go back to uh, Kandoria because that has the most of the, uh, you know, Kandoria zone. <laughs> And uh, that's also where you're gonna find the echo. I have no idea what it looks like, but people are, as you can see, if I open uh, my little thing here, you see down here that people are asking for echo hunts. So there'll probably be a lot of people in the beginning asking for these, but they're probably not gonna be very difficult to do, but they might be a little bit rarer to find, but I'm gonna find one and we're gonna do it together and we'll see what it is. So I'll see you guys when I find one or get invited to one. Uh, we'll definitely find one of these egg hunts and talk more about it. So see you at the egg hunt. All right guys, so I found one of the egg hunts and it looks just like this one here already. People are already doing it, so I might not end up, but it just looks what it looks like on the map. It just looks like a regular dungeon. As you can see, it just looks like a regular dungeon and you just go around and you're gonna find this one as well. Uh, you have to activate uh, or maybe it is actually down here 
you have to activate something. Uh, no, the uh, find and collect eggs. So you gotta go around finding, collecting eggs. You can't really see for my face if I really quickly. You can see right there, you have to find some eggs in seven seconds. I don't know, it's probably easier when you are with some other people as well. See what happens when this, the timer runs down. It did, and that completes it as well. Did you get any rewards for that? You got a token for doing it. So I don't think it's uh, very hard. It's not hard at all. You just have to run around and it's. There's also some stuff below and whatnot, and you just run around and find eggs. Uh, that's probably like on the platforms and stuff like that. So uh, that probably takes you up and all the way around. So yeah, that's all the, what I really have to do going around finding one of these. So it looks pretty cool, actually. Very lovely, the design actually. Kind of looks like a somebody's very awesome co uh, cornerstone. So maybe somebody's gonna copy this and uh, do that as well. I'm gonna do a little bit of time and actually look around and see if I can't find a, another one. You can see there's a lot of people running around trying to find these. So uh, I did complete it. So uh, I, will, I will include some footage of me just doing it uh, by myself if I find one here. Oh, I'll, if I take too long, I'll go back and finish the video. It's just a lot easier. But yeah, basically the thing is run around, get yourself the eggs. They look, they just look like small eggs around like the other ones are. And you basically, basically find those eggs. Uh, if there's more people, it will probably complete it very fast anyways. And you can just sit around, I guess. But uh, I will include the footage or I'll see you guys in step number seven. All right, so I found one myself here and I'm gonna go down here, see how you activate it. Yes, this is how you activate it. I probably, sh I was pretty sure it's gonna be down here. It's not these out here. This is of course just, uh, of course the, uh, what's it called, uh, the cupcakes, but you activate it. And as you can see here, we gotta get the, that was one egg right there. You, you just use your attack. You can see they light up pretty, uh, you also also get chocolate from it. So it just works like this. It doesn't say how many you need to do it doesn't say that but you do see up there you see the timer you have a minute to go around getting uh, these ones as well you can see there's more eggs up here more eggs here uh getting this one over here oh there's also of course the ones in the houses uh i don't think you need to get all of them that would be that would be kind of crazy to do that in one minute. Um, of course, these doesn't scale, of course, with more damage, you know, uh, or with what's it called, if you go up a difficulty and such. But yeah, I might be able to get a bunch of them. I know you can go down below, so there's probably some down here as well. But I don't think I got all the eggs. I would be very surprised if I got all of them. Uh, so we'll see if I if I get this one completed. I did complete this one. All right, cool. So I did complete this one uh, still. So it you know kind of gave me the same thing. This is of course from the reward. It's not from what you got right here, but you did get some chocolate and stuff. So it's good. I guess it's just a more intense place to get some more uh, chocolate and stuff. It's just kind of like a chocolate dungeon, I guess you can call it as well. But yeah. Pretty cool, just takes a minute to do so and you just have to run around doing that. So of course a little bit more jumps of course always helps with that. But yeah, it is not that super hard to do or uh, hard to, to find either. I feel like I found it pretty quickly as of this one. But yeah, uh, this was step number six. Let's head into step number seven. All right, so for step number seven, we have to complete three uh, Bunfest dailies. And of course, when we go back to the hub, there's now NPCs behind the stations and also Cubesley. Uh, we gotta find the hidden egg. So we're gonna pick that one up, talk about that one. Complete an egg hunt, we did that one just before, and defeat egg dungeons. Well, let's look at the uh, quests we got. Uh, so we got complete an egg hunt, we did that one just before in step number six. Um, defeat egg dungeons. You've got to only do three of these, which is pretty easy to do so as well. You know, just run to anywhere you want to. Uh, it can be, again, in Gear Topside, Medieval Highlands, Kandoria, or Fae. I would suggest you do Kandoria because there is some new stuff in there. That's kind of the new biome that is you know, involved with uh, with the Easter event here. So I would suggest you go to Kandoria. That's also the one that's gonna be most laggy because that's of course where the new stuff is. So that's where people wanna go. Um, and then of course, find the hidden eggs. And that's the one we did in the, one of the first steps. I think it was step number two or something like that, where you have to find these small, tiny, tiny eggs that is all on the ground. Again, you can go to uh, your top side, uh, but 
yeah, you can do what basically where you want to go. But yeah, it, it says throw them all over to your top side for good measure. So I, I don't know if they're only in your top side. Usually they are in all the other ones as well. So I don't really know. But yeah, you could just do the three dailies and that's going to complete your step number three. So I'm going to go ahead and do these to complete step number uh, seven. And I can see you guys in step number eight. All right, so for step number eight and the final one, we have to make a donation. It's pretty simple. It's not very much to it. You just have to go back to the hub and you go up to the Bunfest station and uh, don't do the refined one that's refining. That's for some of the uh, recipes here. Uh, but you do have to have to get this one and you can donate your chocolates. You do have to have 50 of these, but you should have it around that. If you don't have that, go out there and do some more chocolate or not the chocolate dungeon the, and you just the egg dungeon, but they think you give it to chocolate. But all you have to do is just donate and you are going to complete yourself uh, that one. And it's going to give you the uh, little ally here that is going to be very new and it's going to give you 10 mastery points to get yourself that one. But yeah, that was the egg event. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Pretty simple. I kind of like the new stuff. I love the egg hunt stuff. It does very make stuff very laggy, but I do think it's pretty awesome. And yeah, uh, you're just going to come get a lot of chocolate in this one instead of doing the things. So I think it's absolutely amazing that they're adding have added this in the new event here. I, I do think that's pretty awesome. Instead of just having the just bring back the egg dungeons. The egg dungeons are cool, but the egg hunt ones are also very cool as well. I wouldn't say that they're cooler than the eggs, but it's very cool to have something like that. And I feel like there's just so, so many uh, possibilities with things like this in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, are having fun at Easter. I hope you guys are getting some gaming time in during Easter as well. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed it. Uh, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.